Um, I think there are a couple approaches to Web 2.0 in the academic setting. So I'm both a physician and a researcher. Um, there are opportunities to use the web in, let's say, I do stem cell research to interact with the uh, community both at Stanford and, and internationally around the world on what kind of projects we're doing, what's happening with our science, how to collaborate and exchange materials and ideas. So the platform, just like social networking, can happen, I think, effectively for research community. And as clinicians, we, we're starting to use the web more and more, um, certainly through ele electronic medical records and ways to um, keep track of our patients. But I think more importantly, it'll be with the communications with our patients so that the patient's consumer Okay, number one, there's a ton of health information on the web, but there's not a lot of inter interactivity yet with your physician or healthcare provider. And I think in the future, there's two aspects. There's wellness. So a lot of healthcare issues are more because you don't eat right or don't exercise enough or don't change your behaviors. And the web, through um, several web-related communities, companies like wellsphere.com and others, um, can enable you to uh, get a hold of your health what you kind of goals you want to achieve, uh, find a community of like-minded individuals who want to lose weight together, and just achieve sort of a more healthier living. And then there's also disease-based communities focused on diabetes, heart disease, and others that can use web and interactivity to find other people with exactly what they have, similar drugs, similar issues. Um, and the second ev evolution of that that really hasn't happened is how you can communicate with your doctor and your healthcare provider, text, SMS, chats, they're not yet reimbursed by insurance, but I think in the future that's going to be an important part of, of optimizing healthcare. I think today the way the web is used um, for scientists and physicians mostly is uh, the web-based tools and a lot of web-based programs in the, in the research side to share data to some degree, to look up DNA uh, algorithms or, or databases. And then um, in the social networking side, there are actually some social networking sites for physicians specifically to interact and network with physicians with common practices or to, to share clinical issues and how to best run a, a practice to how to actually tackle particular clinical problems. And there's a good suite of, of issues both on the web and interactive web on your on your phone, for example, that I can look up drug databases or, or um, uh, ask questions to others. So I think it's going to evolve a lot and we can usually, I think we can really leverage the power of the web to impact individuals' health care as well as how health care providers and patients interact.